Alright guys, welcome to your seventh video and in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be talking to you guys about the general layout of this footer and we're also going to be working developing the clear class. So before we get started with this, I want to talk to you guys about what I'm doing with this footer. Now generally, whenever I make something for my website, I don't you know I don't plan on sharing it with the world so I just make it however is easiest for my website is easiest for me however with this footer what I did is I want to give you guys different layouts because I know that you guys are following along and you wanna you know easily be able to tweak it customize it for your website so what I did is I actually set this up so it has different layouts now what this has of course aside from your unordered list which is pretty sweet you have a one column layout which you can see right here think of tables whenever I say columns right now one column a two column layout and as you can see you have one piece of data right here and another column right here and then if you go to a new row you can actually you know have a row that takes up two columns width so this is a two column layout right there and you can also have a three column layout and this you know I don't want anything more than this because you might as well just make a web page if you're gonna have this much information above a three column layout but as you can see just like a table you can have three columns of data either three single columns or you can have one that takes up one and another that takes up two columns for a total of three and you can also have one row that just takes up all three columns just like you know whenever you're developing tables that's what I want to do for you guys because again for my website I may not use this three column layout but just to you know show the world and teach you guys how to make a cool footer and plug it in I'm gonna show you guys how to develop everyone and then you can use whatever style you prefer or like this mix and match it so with that being said, you probably are asking yourself, Bucky, um, aren't we supposed to be working on this clear class? And now you go off on a rant and started telling me about layouts. We're not even working on the layouts yet, so why are you teaching me, you know, about this crap? Well actually, that's what the clear class is going to be responsible for. Whenever we have a layout like this, whenever we make a row of data, we need to tell our browser to clear our layout or excuse me clear the content so we can move to a new row if we didn't have this clear class then what our browser would try to do is put everything on one big row so that's why we need this clear class you use it between rows of content so whenever we're working in HTML we're gonna make this row clear it make this row clear it make another row so again, I just want to repeat this so you guys know what this class is for. You use this class between rows of content and it just tells your browser that, hey, browser, I'm moving to a new row. Don't try to stick everything on the same row. So the first attribute that we need is clear both. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with a clear attribute, what this means is that no floating elements are allowed on the left or right hand side. That's what we're telling it by both, neither the left or right. So that's the first thing that it does, clears everything to the left and right. Now you also want to display this as a block. Now of course you know block level elements, they can't have everything, they can't have anything above it or excuse me to the left or right of it unlike you know inline elements. You guys should know that already from uh, the CSS tutorials or just you know school or wherever. Now what I want to do after this is just ensure that this element does not display. Now if you guys are like, okay, slow down, tell me what the heck you're talking about. Well as you can see, whenever we clear, we it isn't like a paragraph or a heading where we want something to display on the screen. We just are using this clear class to tell the browser we want to start working on a new line. So generally whenever we style things like paragraphs and headings in CSS, we display how they look. But this element, we don't want it to display at all. So how do we ensure that this element doesn't show up on any browser? Well the first thing we need to do is set overflow to hidden and also 
visib visibility could hardly spell that to hidden now there are a couple additional things and what this basically tells your browser is listen we're just using this class for design purposes don't show anything to the user now we also can set the width to zero pixels and also the height to zero pixels and just in case your visibility becomes unhidden or anything like that then the width height and overflow this is just all of these lines basically are just um, verification or it's just security to make sure that nothing shows up to the user because like I said we're only using this class to tell the browser that we want to move to a new line we don't want to you know put a horizontal line or anything right there so that's what this clear class is responsible for so one last time what it does is we're going to be using this between rows whenever we are working on our layout so make a row of columns clear it make another row clear it make another row so you guys are going to see more clearly no pun intended what this does whenever we're working in the HTML document and um, in the next tutorial what we're going to be doing is we're going to be styling some very simple things no more weird clear concepts so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video